Hi folks, this is Daily Spirit for Youth, a daily devotional that helps you grow closer to God and apply His Word to your life. Today's reading entitled Wrong Company, written by Pastor Lydia Laurina, is based on 1 Kings chapter 10, verse 26 to chapter 11, verse 8. I will read verse 4 from chapter 11. As Solomon grew old, his wife turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father had been. J. Willard Marriott once said, Choose your friends wisely. They will make or break you. These words remind us to be more selective about who we associate with, because who we associate with will determine our future. One of the factors that determines our success or failure is how we choose our friends. Solomon was indeed wise in deciding matters, but unfortunately he lacked wisdom in socializing. He was not selective in choosing those closest to him, especially in choosing his mate. He had many wives who worshipped other gods. In the end, he was drawn into their bad influence and drifted further away from God. As Solomon grew old, his wife turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father had been. This later became one of the causes of Solomon's downfall. Folks, we are taught to love and care for everyone. But that doesn't mean we can hang out with just anyone. There's a fundamental difference between being friends and hanging out. Hanging out indicates a more intense and intimate relationship than being friends. Therefore, the company we keep will influence our thinking, character, attitude, and quality of life. Have as many friends as you can, but be careful and wise about whom you associate with. Ponder these questions. Why did Solomon drift further away from God? What does your social life look like right now? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below or you can comment on other people's thoughts. Now let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to have good relationships. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you feel blessed through this devotional, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive blessings every day. God bless you.